Enterprise organizations tend to store a lot of sensitive information, including regulated data, employee data, and intellectual property. Unfortunately, this data is becoming more and more vulnerable to loss or theft each day. This increasing risk of a data breach is related to three primary factors. One, the increasing volume of data. ESG research indicates the data volume increases by about 60% each year at an average enterprise organization. Number two, the rise of targeted attacks. Cyber adversaries regularly target large organizations with the goal of stealing valuable data. For example, cyber criminals conducted an attack on retailer Target in 2013, resulting in a data breach that exposed the personal records of around 110 million individuals. And the third factor is cybersecurity weaknesses. In spite of the rise of cybercrime and hacktivism, the state of cybersecurity is only getting worse. This is because enterprise security is often based on a combination of point tools, manual processes, and an IT security team that is both understaffed and underskilled. This is a recipe for disaster. These issues are certainly having an impact. In a recent ESG survey, 49% of enterprise organizations reported experiencing at least one successful malware attack in the last 24 months. So what type of countermeasures can help organizations improve their data security. It's a big problem, but many firms are applying security controls to their crown jewels. In this case, the crown jewels equate to their most sensitive data. So what type of security controls can they use? Well, once sensitive data is identified, many firms are implementing controls for privileged users, like IT administrators, using things like multi-factor authentication and logging activities. They're also enforcing stronger access policies based upon least privilege. Finally, many organizations are encrypting sensitive information to protect data confidentiality and integrity. According to ESG research, 69% of enterprise organizations use encryption to protect sensitive data today, while another 9% plan to use encryption to protect their sensitive data within the next 12 months. Now, there's no doubt that encryption technology can add a layer of defense and improve the protection of sensitive data. But that said, ESG sees a lot of enterprises deploying encryption technology tactically on an as-needed basis. This haphazard approach has led to islands of encryption technologies, a potpourri of key management systems, and high operating costs. CIOs tend to know they need a more strategic approach to enterprise encryption, but encryption's a rather esoteric niche. So IT managers tend to have two fundamental questions about encryption. Number one, what does an enterprise encryption strategy entail? And number two, which technology should they use? Let's address these questions one by one. First, ESG believes that an enterprise encryption strategy should be based around central management. Policy management, configuration management, key management, and reporting should all be managed through a central console. Number two, flexible deployment options. While management is centralized, encryption enforcement may be distributed across lots of different devices in the network. And number three, privileged account controls. Encryption administrators must have the proper security and oversight. This includes multi-factor authentication, access controls, and continuous logging. It's also important that encryption technology support industry standards. For example, key management services should support the KMIP standard, the Key Management Interoperability Protocol from OASIS. So an enterprise encryption strategy is based on central management, distributed enforcement, and strong controls and oversight. That's fine, but which encryption technology should be used? In truth, there's no one-size-fits-all encryption technology. Each type of technology has strengths and weaknesses that should be assessed for different use cases. This chart describes the trade-offs to consider. At a high level, application-based encryption provides the highest level of protection, but is also the hardest to implement. Alternatively, storage encryption protects data at rest and is easy to deploy, but the data is converted to clear text once it leaves the storage device. Encryption is complex and many CIOs remain confused by the plethora of options they face. In many cases, they're just looking for another layer of defense that adds protection without disrupting ongoing IT operations. 
Encryption technology seems simple, and many IT professionals are under the misconception that you can set it and forget it. This is far from true, however. A true enterprise encryption strategy must be fine-tuned as requirements change. Of course, banks, hospitals, government agencies have no desire to become cryptographic experts, but they do want encryption technologies that add protection and can scale as data volume increases. Thanks for watching. Tune into other video blogs soon.